What's going on, guys? This is the how-to guy. Like I say, I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Not really, guys. You know, I just got an A-plus certification, so it really don't mean anything. But anyway, I took the 902 test, guys, and guess what? You already know your boy passed the exam. Why? Because I locked myself up in the room. I turned off my phone. I ain't had nobody text me or call me in two or three days, man. So look, that's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do to pass the exam. So like I say, guys, it took me a week to get ready for this exam, and of course, I did pass it. Now, let me tell you something, guys. Is to me, the 902 is easier than the 901. I, I kid you not. Now, they did do some 901 type of questions. Uh, they gave me about five of them on the 902, so you no, know, kind of very similar. I guess they want to refresh or some shit, you know. But um, like I say, man, that one was easier than the 901. So if that give you guys some more, like a little confidence, then you know, hey, I'm I'm glad to help you. Like I say, shout out to everybody, you know, who followed me, who you know gave let me with some comments. I had one user gave me a uh, a good comment. So guys, if you are a student or if you have a friend that's a student, and you know what I'm saying, you can use their um their email address, their school email address, and and you can get the CompTIA A plus. Like 60-70% off, man. It's called CompTIA Academics. Don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it. I'm going to put the link up and then you can go to it and, you know, you can get it 50% off. So in case you do fail, guys, you always have a second chance and you still get your money worth, which is the $200. So instead of paying like $200 or $180 or $70, guess what? You get to pay $94. Just get you a student email address. Hell, get your ass out there, man, and find somebody. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of people ain't using that email address. Look, I'm just a brother trying to help somebody, man. So, um, what's on the test? You already know. First and foremost, man, simulations. They gonna hit you hard. Um, I had, my first one was, I had to add a computer to a domain. You know, uh, and a map a network drive and give a computer a name. Boy, that was easy as hell, man. Easy ass, sir. Easy ass on simulations. But look, then, let's see. I got one where you had to go in the command prompt. It's like they inserted, you know, um, they repaired this, and they was like, you know, fix the MBR, you know what I'm saying, without um, per, and, uh, without uh, causing data loss. And the way you would do that, you will click, um, you will, you will click the computer. You say you click on the computer, and then you go to repair uh, your computer, and go to system recovery. They might already do it for you. And uh, you just click whatever it says goes to, goes to Windows 7, the operating system, then click next, and then click on command prompt, and then um, you know you type in boot rec. That's B O O T R E C, and then the slash fix boot, and that will fix that issue. And that's uh, that's the end of that simulation. Uh, the third simulation I got was uh, the mobile device. You had to add a uh, mobile. You had to add a network to a mobile device uh, with the with the email. Set up an email on a mobile device. So basically, they're gonna they're gonna show you uh, what they want on there. So like I say, guys, these simulations are easy. I guarantee you, they're easy. But like, if you want, I'm gonna put some more uh, simulations examples on there on the link on the shared drive. So guys, don't worry about it. I guarantee you, these simulations will be on that test. I guarantee you. So you know, look up those simulations and study them. But uh, that's that's all I had. Like guys, man, it was a it was an easy ass test, you know. But um, like me, man, I barely passed it, guys. So like you know, a guy like me that haven't read a book, just going out there and winging it, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty damn good. But like I say, guys, you know, take your time because they gonna put some questions out there that might try to confuse you. So you know what I'm saying? Just be careful, guys. Be extremely careful. Read the directions carefully. Read the questions uh, carefully as well. Um, what did I have on the test? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Networking, man. Number one thing is networking. Uh, you know, networking from being on mobile devices and, you know, being on the server and um, basically computer. It's, ba it's a basic computer networking type, if I must say. But um, that was on there. Um, mobile devices. And I can't believe it, guys. Half, like, guys, most, the majority of my test was networking and mobile devices so like i say and with security so those are only three that was really um you know about my whole test uh security guys you, you really need no security 
Um, but networking, guys, that's 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 what this test is all about. So focus on the networking um, part, and you will be fine, guys. You will pass the exam. Uh, a couple of Linux questions was on there. Um, learning um, the command prompt from Linux, like how to get into the administrator mode with Linux, and you know it's like sudo. Um, sudo will um, take care of that. Uh, it's like list the running processes in Linux, and that'll be a you know the PS. Uh, list the process, list the running process on, on Linux, and that'll be a PS. If you want to list um, everything in the directory, that'll be a you know LS. Uh, no stuff like that. But um, they do they do give you uh, some command prompts questions on there, so be aware of that. But other than that, guys, look if you study basically the the, uh, the networking part, guys, you should be fine. That was mo the majority of my tests was just based on networking, knowing your ports, um, knowing um, you know route um, the the router, the so the small office home office router. It's a lot of those questions on there, as in like you know how to um, how to keep people from getting into the um the the wi-fi you know and um mac filtering knowing what mac filtering is and what dns is and how do you uh you know you got you got two computers with different ip address how you get the other one to match with the same with the um same subnet ip address on there and um you know they done tried everything to just IP release and IP renew but it's one thing they forgot to do and that's gonna be on one of your questions which is flush the DNS um, but guys like you know it's, it's really simple you know so I can't even hardly explain the shit but um, like I say guys if you really want it you would do whatever it takes to get it like I say you know it over the weekend I kid you not guys I went hard studying this weekend I shut off my phone you know, I, I told my, I told all my friends, my brothers, my sisters. I was like, "Look, I'm not answering no calls today. I'm not answering no texts today. My phone is gonna go completely off." And from Friday night to Monday, my phone was completely off because I was so focused, man, studying, trying to pass this test. You gotta realize, guys, you paying ninety four, ninety four dollars is still a lot. You know what I'm saying? You gonna waste? You gonna waste ninety four dollars, or you gonna gain ninety four dollars? Get a reward from it. Get your ass in there. Lock your ass up in your room and, and grind. Go hard at it. Like I say, guys, I'm going to put those questions out there. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys, man. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some of those questions were not even on there. Now, 901, it was a whole different scenario. But 902, man, man, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I had common sense now. It was just the fact that you know, I, I was winging it too because some of the questions that um that was on there, you know, I didn't look at uh, crucial exams or exam compass. I think that's the reason why that I made a low score on my test. But you know, hell, fuck it, passing is passing. But look, guys, uh, if you pass nine on one, you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to worry about this nine on two. Like I said, guys, you might have to focus more on networking. So. Um, focus more on networking. Like I say, listen to Professor Mitchell videos because I guarantee you. And, you know, it, it was crazy because I didn't have any, uh, you know, updating from Windows XP to Windows 7 or Vista to Windows 8. You know what I'm saying? How do, you, how, do, um, how do you do that? I didn't have none of those questions on there, so I was surprised at that. But they really, like I say, guys, networking, man. Those networking questions is hit you hard. And, like, those security questions, how to keep a wireless uh, router secure, you know, from others. Um, how to um, stop others from using your Wi-Fi? You know the mobile, like the mobile devices, guys. You know you better start knowing those because it's it's a lot of it's a lot of those on there. I think I had about twenty questions, twenty or thirty questions dealing with mobile devices, and I was like, damn. But um, if you want to know how many questions on there, it's going to go ahead and lead to you guys. There's eighty questions on this test. Now my nine on one exam, it was eighty three. Um, this one right here is eighty questions. So 80 question test, guys, look, get it, guys. It's time to eat. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass in your room, lock everything up, throw away the TV, throw away anything that got to do with social media, man. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I let you slide on is Netflix. I expect you to have a break, take you a little break, watch Netflix, get a little grub, and then go back at it. But like I say, guys, you can do it, man. I believe in you. Like I say, I'm gonna give you the 902 notes. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the shared drives on there. I'm gonna stay up late. I'm gonna stay up late at night trying to give you some questions that that was familiar to me when I was taking the test. So I'm gonna shoot them questions out there to you guys. And um, you know, like I say, good luck, guys. Like I say, I'm just trying to prove to you guys that 
You know what I'm saying? Reading the book is useless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you want a high score, if you want to be that nerd, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a nerd. But look, if you want to be that overachiever that want to make an 800 or a 798, you know what I'm saying? By all means, read the book. Because guess what? You make a 798, me make a 720, we both still pass. We both still got that damn certification. So like I say, I'm not going to read no damn book. Hey, I ain't, I'm not going to waste time. I just prove to you guys. You know what I'm saying? It don't take a month. It don't take too much. Don't listen to what people tell you. You got people out there that's saying, oh, I study, I study a month. You know, it took me a month to get ready for it. Bullshit, man. Get your ass out there and grind. If you hustle hard enough, man, you know what I'm saying? It should take you two weeks. Two weeks to pass. But like I say, guys, you know, I'm finna start on certification number two. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to get this Microsoft cert. And then I'm gonna try to get my security plus. So I'm focusing on them two. Like I said, I give you some feedback on that Microsoft test. You know what I'm saying? Just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, guys, good luck to you with the 902. Like I say, this is how to guy. I just showed you guys that you don't need no book. I just proved to you guys that it don't take a month or two to get ready for the exam. Like I say, it's all about hustling. It's all about eating. It's all about grinding. Like I say, grind hard, guys. Look, better your life, man. Like I say, that should, that should help you motivate. If you want to better your life, guess what? You got to hustle. You gotta, it's going to take late nights. It's going to take forgetting to eat and all that. But guys, I believe in you and I know you can do it. Peace.